Unleashed Overtime starts right now. Welcome, man. Great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Thought we might do something, uh, I don't know, a little bit lighter since everything's been so heavy lately. I found a list of the greatest love songs in music history. Hmm. See if you agree with these. Mine won't be on there. Yours won't? Be, My favorite. Um, because it's probably the Connells or uh, yeah. Better Than Ezra. You want to know something? Yeah. Maybe maybe the last album or so this was different, but I noticed mm-hmm. it's Connell's deep cut uh, history here. Okay. They never used the word love or baby. What? Never? Never. Uh, Not in like, any song of theirs. Yeah. It, it le- like it, This might have changed toward huh. the end, but I remember there was a point where I was like, I noticed that. About okay. six albums in, I was like, wait a minute. Really? They don't ever say that. Word, was that a words. conscious effort? I don't know. I don't know. I should have felt that way. I should have asked the lead guitarist when I <laughs> interviewed should've. him, right? You should I'll have. send him a text and see what happens. All right. Yeah. yeah Let us know. Uh, I, I want I want a follow-up on this. That was an inadvertent name drop there. <laughs> I know. Ooh, he's got the cell number of the Con L. Just the most down-to-earth bunch mm-hmm. of guys. That you would never think are in a band. I don't know. Band. How, I don't no, know stop, how it, they stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. How did they manage anyway, so, to be down to earth so, as big as they were? So just so you know, um, uh-huh. the the <laughs> the song for the first dance at uh, our wedding reception for Carrie and I mm-hmm. was uh, "All I Want Is You." <clears throat> All I Want Is You by it, the Connells. By you too. By you too. It's the last track on Rattle and Hum. Okay. I want to see if it shows up in this list there. Uh, well, let's let's, let's see. check let's it see. out. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know this list. The first one on the list uh, from the year of our Lord, 1983. God, I hate this song so oh, much. Oh no! What? I hate it with a purple poison that, uh, and a and a passion that the likes of which the world has never seen before. Islands <laughs> in the Stream by oh, Dolly Parton and I Kenny Rogers. It. I don't mind it. You don't mind it? I don't mind it. Yeah. Seriously. I'm not. I'm not a duet guy. And you didn't have to. You didn't have to play it. Uh, yeah, that's true. On the radio, that's true. Uh, n- let's see. Also, Elton John, your song. That's eh, okay. You know, that's okay. And what is the title of this list again? The best, best, greatest love greatest. songs in music history. So not necessarily even the biggest selling. This is just their opinion of the best ones. It's like top twenty or something, or yeah, okay. ish. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. No, please, no. No, honey. It's so bad. How I hate this song. Didn't Kenny Rogers just die recently? I think he's gone now. Did we lose him? I think so. Or is he still alive? <laughs> oh, wow. I can't keep it tra- I can't I can't keep it straight anymore who's alive and who's gone now. Uh yeah, I think he died. I think he did die. Yeah, he though. died uh, March 20th, 2020 in Sandy Springs, Georgia, Metro mm. Atlanta. Do we know how? I mean, is that COVID? I don't know. Twenty twenty. It doesn't. Yeah, huh? his hospice care. So I doubt. Okay. It. Uh, yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, oh, bladder cancer. Oh Lord. Ooh, yikes. <sighs> okay, not good. Uh, then there's "I Will Always Love You," of course, by Whitney Houston, <laughs> yeah. written by Dolly Parton. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, certainly not one of my favorite songs. Uh, but man, that was that uh, huge. "Stand by Me" by Benny King. Mm. It's from 1961. Mm, that's okay, I guess. I love song. It's a little before my time. Uh, uh, then we've got... Oh, okay. Uh, the Stalker song, Every Breath You Take by the Police. Yeah, that's not love. Every move you make, I'll be watching you. <laughs> it's freaky. a little freaky, isn't it? It's a little bit freaky, that song. Uh, but they call it one of the greatest love songs of all time. And here it is. We played this every hour, too. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was a good song at first, but not after three and a half million song to plays of it. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Still Loving You by The Scorpions from 1984. Uh, you know, if you want, if you like the uh, rock ballads, I can't think there's of that one. one. That's- so when when you have these songs randomly pop in your head over the weekend, you can thank uh-huh. Chris Cruz. Yes, you're welcome. Why why am I not? Wow. Do I know this song? Like, I'm is not this... sure if I do. We're gonna get to the vocal right about 
now. And it's time. I don't know this. To win oh, I do, yeah. Again. Yeah. Get to the chorus. Rock 103 played this all the time. Slide that thing to the right. No. You still don't know I it? know the Scorpions, but I don't know this. Rock you like a hurricane. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. What's the one with the fall of the Berlin Wall? Wasn't that them? Probably. <laughs> uh, I don't want to miss a thing. Aerosmith. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That is a good one. That one I like. That's the first one I can unequivocally say, yeah, I like that song. That's good, that's good stuff. Okay. Brian Adams from 1991, Everything I Do, I Do for I do It oh, For You. That's a good one. That's a pretty good song. Yeah. Uh, although I got sick of that one, too. Uh, ooh, this is one of the greatest of all time. In fact, uh, several people have said, including, I think, Frank Sinatra, this oh, is oh. the greatest song ever written. The Connell song? No. Oh. Surprisingly, no. Uh, you would think Connell's would be the first one to jump to your mind, but no, it's something by the Beatles. <laughs> Written by George Harrison. Something in the way she moves. Oh, yeah. Tracks yeah. me like no other lover. That's a great song. It is a great song. It really song. is a great song. Uh, <laughs> yes. Something in the way she moves. Listen to that bass. This is when he was really starting to come into his own as a songwriter. Tracks me like and uh, Paul and John couldn't hold him back anymore. <laughs> it was just too much of a dynamo. All right, we'll put it on the album. Jeez, whatever. If you're going to start writing classics. Okay. That's good so good, man. Really good. So good. I mean, I really like Paul McCartney, but... George Harrison might be my favorite solo act by the Beatles. Oh, definitely. He was awesome. Really awesome. What is life? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is life? What is life is excellent. Really is. Uh, I like all of his stuff. Blow Away, uh, Cracker Box Palace, you know, all of those songs. I, you know, My Sweet Lord, maybe uh, a little overplayed, but uh, it's really good stuff. Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley, 1961. It's good. Uh, I can't stand Chris really? Isaac. Oh. Wick, wicked game, man! I hate that song. Um, uh, that was an interesting but, video, though. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all of me by John Legend. I'm not sure I know all of me by John Legend. I bet you're about to, because <laughs> I, I can hear Chris's fingers typing in the other room. <laughs> Here we go. And it goes a little something like this. Oh. What song was this again? All of me, John Legend. Uh -huh. Legend has an E got Emmy, Grammy, uh, Oscar, and Tony. Mm. This is a fantastic. This sounds decent. I don't know it, but it's not bad. Ten years old. Ten years old. And I'm so dizzy, don't know what hit me, but I'll be all right. My head's under I don't mind it. So you know this song, Chris? Oh, yes. Do you know it, Keith? Yeah, I don't even. You're crazy and I but I don't mind it. No, it's not bad at all. Cause all of me. No, this uh -uh. is played on every single white girl wedding. Oh, oh, see, my yeah, sister's bet. song wedding. Oh, really, every white girl has. I bet I don't get out much. <laughs> yeah, so. don't go to a lot of white girl weddings except my daughters. They are white, and uh, I've been to all their weddings. And they so. didn't play this. No, <laughs> not one of them. <laughs> so that's weird. Uh, we got my heart will go on. You know, we were just talking about Titanic uh, this morning and uh, some of the controversy surrounding <laughs> the Titanic. And My Heart Will Go On from Celine Dion, uh, a song, another song that got played way too much. Uh, and the song sucks besides that. So. <laughs> yeah, please don't play that. Please don't. Do <laughs> don't, not. Don't play it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Chris. Because uh, we're going to skip right to Foreigner. <laughs> okay. From 1984, I Want to Know What Love Is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a great song. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. That's a great song. If you don't love Foreigner, I Want to Know What Love Is. Mm, you don't have ears. 
That's your problem. Want you to show me. Yeah. I sound just like him, right? Oh, exactly like him. Exactly like him. I did that screechy voice for him once because <laughs> they were in studio. How do you like it? He they loved liked, it. He liked he loved it a lot, it. right? Yeah. Lou Graham and and Mick Jones were performing for us, and Glenn kept saying, "No, Pat does a great you." I'm like, "No, no, I don't." Was yeah, this on he does. The air? do it, do it. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. And Lou's like, "Yeah, do it. Let's hear oh. it." <laughs> he did not didn't care for that. He did. I want to know what love is. He did not appreciate it. How did he respond? Uh, unfavorably. <laughs> Very unfavorably. <laughs> I mean, kids, listen to him. He's got one of the greatest rock voices of all time. It's Hall of Fame worthy, you might say. Oh, I would say. Yes. Yes, I would. I want to know what love is. So good. I want you to show me. I think the synthesizer in the background is very underrated. Because he's going to watch this right now. Uh-huh. It also dates the song. So what? You know exactly what year it's from because they don't do that anymore. Oh, wait. Do I get to guess? Because I have no idea. Uh, oh, okay. My gosh. It's one year they were doing that? Come on. Well, no. It was it was during the 80s. Okay, that's very close. It's 84, okay. but very, very close. They did it in 85, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they did. No, the calendar is switched. No more synthesizer. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they would have realized, okay, that sound isn't going to last forever. We, we need to use real instruments on these songs, <clears throat> but they didn't. They didn't catch on quick enough. So these songs are really dated. You know, the 80s songs that used synthesizer sounds like that? Uh, then we come to Unchained Melody from the Righteous Brothers. Great song. I mean, yeah, that's a real classic. Yes, it is. Uh, something by Francis Cabrill called Je l'aime à mourir. Sure. I love that song. Sure. I mean, who doesn't? Sure. Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Marvin Gaye, Tammy Terrell, uh, 1967. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good song. I mean, not bad. I just called to say I love you. Oh, that's good. Stevie Wonder. Yes, sir. And I mean it. From the bottom of my heart. I like it. Uh, Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars. You like that one? I I'm not sure I know like it. That one. I it's not the Billy Joel. It's not the same Billy Joel song, right? Uh, let's uh, No, it, I see the lyrics here. It is not the same you know, as I just, Billy Joel's. You mentioned the Stevie Wonder song. I just called to say I love you. Mm-hmm. That seems a little aggressive now. Uh, I feel like a call, like maybe you text it, right? <laughs> like I just text I just text to say. Because yeah. if you call, mm -hmm. it's kind of intrusive now. Yeah, it without, kind of without is. like a heads up. Like it's really a, forward. Yeah, like maybe a text, you say, hey, can hey, I call you? Do you mind quick, if I right? call? Yeah. And then you say it. Yeah. Is this the Bruno, Bruno Mars? This is a love song? Never heard it. I don't think I have either. I don't is, listen is this a to white girl wedding radio song? Is this a, is this? Not this one, though. No. Okay. Eh. 18 years old. Yeah. 18 years 13, old? 13. Oh, 13. Still, what? I guess if it, if it came out in this century, I haven't heard it, apparently. This is right here. When I see I've probably yeah, heard right. this in the background yeah, somewhere. It's not but... terrible, but it's not great. <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't know why anybody would listen to music radio anymore. Why would that ever happen? <laughs> why would you do that why when you've got you? Spotify? I, I don't understand it. I would never, I, unless you're really married to like the morning show on your favorite music station or something. Maybe then, but. Uh, is anybody married to a favorite morning show on music radio anymore? Where's the know. Where's the duck? Wah, wah. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, so. That's the. Is that was that the best no? There's one? still oh, more. There's still more. At so, yeah. last by yeah. Etta James, which is a great song. I mean, that's that's a oh yeah all time uh -huh. classic. Hello. Uh, Je t'aime by Lara Fabian. I do. I kind of know <laughs> that. When a man loves a woman by Percy Sledge. Mm. When a man. And loves a woman. Yeah. So old fashioned to have like a man and a woman. Uh, uh yeah, isn't it that though? Should be a, yeah, why when what a about trans when a, loves another trans. Or when a man loves a man. Sure, yeah, let's do it. I mean, loves a man. 
Another man? This <laughs> <laughs> is so old fashioned. <laughs> when a woman loves a woman! Yeah, I mean, join us in this century, Percy. Right! Join us in this century, would you please? This is such a exclusionary song. Yeah, it is. It's That's a racist, horrible, What would you say is the, the best love song of all time? Because I gave you my... Uh, can we mm. can we hear uh, All I Want Is You by You Too? I, I, I think you might like this. Okay. Take all a I listen. Want is you. This is a first dance at a wedding. Imagine this. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's what this song's all about. From the wait, wait, don't, don't, don't skip ahead. You just skipped the whole beautiful opening. Are we getting to the hook, though? Let's get to the hook. We're, we're at the hook. Oh, there it is. All I want is you. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like but, it. But like the... Did you do this at your wedding? Yeah. This is our, this is our first dance. See, listen. You say, you'll give me a highway. There's Chris, there's uh, Keith's. Look upon it. Now, do my uh, my here. wedding song. Okay, cool. Yeah, with Jackie, that. was Lionel Richie, the only one. Oh, let's hear that. You know that song? Was that a single? I don't think so. Oh, that, I probably don't know it. That. But it's really good. Only one. The only one. Yep, this is it. Sounds familiar, actually. With of course this stupid, dated, Aww. synthesized. Yeah, I've heard this. What the night was about only you. The only, the only one, one who stole, stole my heart away. Aww. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's sweet. I want to do all I can just to show you. Since we've thrown this cheesy stuff, Chris, yeah. you might as well tell us yeah, yours. what's your wedding song? What's your wedding song? Your first dance with your wife. All right, let me find it. All right. Are we going to know it? It's probably like Rico Suave or yeah. something. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Is it the Puerto Rican national anthem? <laughs> I know they don't have a national anthem, but they sure should. Hold on, I mean, we have an ad. Give me one second. Is that second. even part of America? Seconds. All right. Come on. I know it's an island surrounded by water. <laughs> Big water. Big water. <laughs> Uh, that's more than a lot of people know about. I bet it's a Puerto Jimmy Rico. Buffett song. I bet Puerto Rico's uh-huh. like. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I refuse to believe that. That's you're... not really your. <laughs> hey, is he cuss swearing? Oh, okay. Hey, is that? That's not really your song, though, right? That's no, but really he's plays it. on every Puerto Rican. Oh, okay. Puerto Rican wedding is playing. <laughs> so, do you what have was a song? This, what was your song? Oh, we didn't have one. You didn't have what? one? No. You didn't have a song? No. Everybody oh. has a song that they dance to this after the second their... marriage. Really? Oh, oh okay. second marriage. Okay, so you All cut right. out the, the 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 first dance song. What else do you cut out from the second All romance. marriage? All romance is <laughs> over. I already been through this. You shake hands yeah, yeah. instead of kissing. No kiss, yeah. Leave separate beds, separate That's rooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the 50s where you have twin yes. beds. I know next that's to each not other. true. Uh, based on how many kids you have. <laughs> <laughs> eh, well, it's like the 50s. Every once in a while they come together. <laughs> what anniversaries? How uh, you know yeah. think about that. <clears throat> We've gone from separate beds to the bed and now we're back in the separate bed era with like your sleep number and all that oh, stuff, yeah. you know? So it's like Yeah. What's old is new again. <laughs> You stay on that side. I'll stay over here. All right. Uh, have a great weekend. Mm-hmm. We'll be back to do this all over again. Only different on Monday. <laughs>